Morning chestnuts, it is our last learning journey lesson of this half term and I'm really looking forward to seeing what you can create today. You're going to be answering the question, can I incorporate conjunctions, adverbs and prepositions into my writing? And to be successful today, you need to follow your plan that you did yesterday. Use the success criteria that I'm going to show you to help construct your sentences, show off your subject knowledge and present your work with care. Yesterday, we created a plan for our final piece of writing and wrote our introduction. And I was really pleased with the work that I saw on Dojo. Today, we're going to write the rest of our work and present it neatly using success criteria to help us. You don't have to lay it out in the same way that I did. You can be creative in what you think would look really good. Remember, this is the plan that you created yesterday and I want you to have a look at it and just reflect over what you put in each box to check that you're really happy with what you're going to write about today. If there's things that you think are missing, that's absolutely fine because you can add those in as you go along. The first thing I'm going to do is read over my modelled example just to remind you of the type of thing that you're going to be expected to write today. Did you know that we need to eat a balanced diet to ensure we are staying healthy? With over 200 bones and over 650 muscles in our body, we need to make sure we're doing the right things to stay strong and healthy. Food groups. A balanced diet means eating a variety of different food groups. Foods can be separated into food groups and into nutrients. There are five food groups, fruit and vegetables, carbohydrates, protein, dairy and fats. Each of these provide different things for our bodies, along with the nutrients within them. Did you know that the vitamins and minerals in our food keep us healthy, and the fibre in our food allows us to digest it properly? We need to make sure we eat at least five portions of fruit and vegetables a day, and between five to eight glasses of water. Fact, water can be found in strawberries. Exercise. Exercise is very important when it comes to staying strong and healthy. We should exercise for up to 60 minutes each day because exercise helps us learn better as it allows the heart to pump more oxygen into our brain, makes us feel better, helps us to sleep better and allows our bones and muscles to work together and give us strength. Types of exercise you can do, walking, cycling, star jumps and playing with a ball. Bones and muscles. Bones and muscles work together to help us move. We have over 200 bones in our bodies and our bones have at least two muscles connected to them. Muscles work in pairs and they pull and contract to help our bones and bodies move. The more we exercise and eat healthily, the more our muscles grow and strengthen. Example of our muscles. When we kick a ball, our hamstring, which is at the back of our thigh, contracts, shortens and pulls our leg upwards. Then when we go to kick the ball, it relaxes and our quadriceps contract, which straightens our leg. Bones. Our bones are really important in keeping us healthy because they give our body structure, help us stay upright and protect the most important organs in our bodies. Our ribs protect our heart and lungs and our skull, cranium, protects our brain. What you need to do today is copy out your introduction onto your final piece of work because you should have written that yesterday. But if you haven't, you can write that today as well. Then you're going to turn your plan from the other sections into full sentences using the success criteria to help you. So I've written the success criteria here and what you can do as you go along is tick when you think you yourself have included these things in your writing. And then if you're able to, get an adult to read your writing and see if they agree whether you've included them or not. If you're missing something, then you could use your green pen to edit and improve your work. So it says full stops at the end of sentences, capital letters at the beginning of sentences, finger spaces to separate words in a sentence, joined up handwriting, scientific vocabulary, and use conjunctions, adverbs, or prepositions. And I'm gonna go over these, so don't worry. Here we go. So we've got three lists here, and what I've done is created this so that you can look at them and have a go at including them into your writing. So just a reminder, conjunctions link words and phrases together. Adverbs modify verbs, and we've been looking at some adverbs in our spellings. 
adjectives and clauses, and prepositions describe location, place, and time. Now, there are some words that appear in more than one of these columns, but what you can have a go at doing is give yourself a challenge to see if you can include any of these words into your writing. I'm going to give you an example of what you're going to do today. So you're going to have your box with all your bullet points of what it is you want to include. And what I've done is put the success criteria up here to remind me. And I've then looked at each part and thought how I could link them together. Now, the words in red are examples of words from the list that we just looked at. So what I've had a go at doing is saying, understanding the different food groups helps to teach us to stay healthy. When you have a balanced diet, you are eating a variety of foods from each group. These groups are fruit and vegetables, protein, fats, carbohydrates and dairy. All foods also contain different nutrients. Remember to eat a rainbow, which means eating foods of all different colours. Finally, you must also remember to eat five portions of fruit and vegetables and drink lots of water. So what I've had a go at doing there, Chestnuts, is using my different bullet points to think how best to link them together. And then I've used some of the words from this list here. So I use the word when, for example, to vary my sentence starters. So it doesn't just sound like one long list all starting with the word the. Okay? So you're going to work through each section one at a time and reflect back to your success criteria to remind you of what to include. And I've got some tips. Read your work aloud to hear what it sounds like. That's really helpful. Another one could be ask someone to read it to you to check that it says what you meant. So once you've written a few sentences, get them to read it back. And finally, like we would in school, use the model I've written to help give you some ideas. What I'm also going to put on Dojo is a word map that I've created for each of the sections. And they're just some key words that you might want to check the spelling or have a go at trying to include in your writing. So we've got the food groups, exercise, bones and muscles. And remember, please reflect back and look back at my example to give you some ideas of how to structure your work. This is our last piece of learning journey before the half term. So really put all your effort into creating a really lovely piece of work to demonstrate and show off all that you've been learning over the last few weeks. I can't wait to see what you create and see your lovely handwriting, your lovely sentences. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye chestnuts.